Okay, we're back. I was chilling and talking to Azalea about birds. Um, because basically what I was saying is I still haven't found the, um, aside from in the achievement names, I haven't found the bit from the Charlian part of the trailer. Um, and it got me thinking about birds and stuff, and we've been seeing those black birds. Um, Medion turned into one, and all of these little dudes are turning into them as well, which are making me think that they're like manifestations of Medion's sisters and stuff. Um, and I'm imagining we're probably going to see our friends reappear as like white birds to contrast the black birds and stuff. I don't know. Symbolism, you know? Cool stuff. Actually, no, we're gonna go back to the Amaro because I think we're leaving. I can't believe this is just zone music. It's just zone music. It's just, it just does this. I also can't believe there's just regular weather here. It's the other thing that gets me. Oh, look, it's Umbral Wind. Oh no. Don't let it break me, don't you worry. I never have, and I never will. Look, Carolyn, a portal has opened. It will surely deliver us true. It must. I was expecting that we were gonna like cross this little crystal path, but that'll that'll work too. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. Look up, Carolyn. It's those the stars are being devoured by the dead sun. And that's where we're headed. Into the Maw of Darkness. Yay. Storm just hovering in the distance. <laughs> Well, here's where the path begins, and it ascends to dizzying heights. Let us make our way one sure step at a time. So, if we have a trust dungeon coming up here, which we have at least one dungeon left, we're gonna have some weird stuff happening here. Because... It's only me and these two. So... They're gonna do something weird at the end, surely. They're either gonna give us our friends back by then, or uh, something else is going to step in. We'll see. Now more than ever, we must walk as one. Will you go and take Alize's hand? Aww. Our friends got us this far. Their courage, their strength, their wisdom, their love. We owe it to them to continue, no matter how long it takes. They're now both following me. Raha paved this path for us. We were meant to follow it. Of all the things, of all the obscure things to keep unique dialogue for, talking to one before the other- wow. Anyway, should you start to fall, we'll be here to catch you. I know you'll do the same for us. Where are we going? Following this? I'm not RP walking. I kind of want to, but this is long. <laughs> we have all the ether currents, right? Yeah. I will not mount, obviously, though, so... Listen to the silence? Sankard would scout the road ahead. Ishtola and Uriange would trade opinions on esoteric subjects. Graha would join in their discussion, or else chat with me and Alize about the mission. Estinian would be at the rear, apart yet present. All the while, you would come and go, wherever you were needed, and together we would travel. 
All I can hear are my footfalls, my heartbeat. It's so much quieter now, but the fact we can breathe and continue on is proof that the others are still with us. They are. They are, aren't they? Yes. Yes! Saying this with, like, the assurity of, like, gameplay mechanics, but, like, doesn't necessarily mean they're safe. We'll see. Footfalls name drop, yeah. Okay, I figured there would be another one over here. Gaze at the distant stars. The innumerable lights that shine in the distance, to think that they could all have birthed civilizations. To think that everything they built has gone to dust, their peoples lost to despair, of the stars floating in this sea of midnight, ours is a lonely aberration. And yet, no matter how many worlds have met their ends, with you and Alize beside me, there is nothing I fear, no ocean so vast I cannot cross. Those broken stars I see, shattered, ruptured, unraveled. I wonder if they're also worlds recreated at their ends. The sight of them fills me with a sorrow I cannot describe, and a truth I cannot deny. Birth and death. Whence we came and where we'll return, a wheel from which there is no escape. Don't worry, guys. With Storm here, we've got four. We have enough for a trust dungeon. Don't worry. <laughs> hmm. Look back on the path. The portal is barely visible from up here. Truly, we've come far. Much farther than would have been possible had we kept chasing perfect ideals as we did in the past. It is because we have known failure and frustration, that we have learned and grown from them, that Heidelin has entrusted us with this mission. With the fate of the very star. It's all a dream, isn't it? A long, elaborate dream. Any moment now, I'll wake up in my bed. Still a student, grandfather alive. I'd go about my day, relieved as the fragments of that other life fade away. And that would be happiness, wouldn't it? But none of it? No. No, I won't give up these experiences. Good and bad, they are mine. They are me. Rest assured I am fine, but thank you for your concern. What of yourself? Though we can't afford to be too leisurely, neither need we rush unduly. We've crossed an impossible distance to stand where we are now, and we're but a few steps away from journey's end. It will be over before we know it. Me? Oh, I still have plenty of legs left in me, don't you worry. It's you I'm worried about. You always push yourself so hard for us, for everyone, and while we're here, we'll make sure to bear our share of the burden. I see what you guys were talking about, about just idling in this map listening to the music now. This is it, the end of the path, and the beginning of whatever awaits. There will be greater hardships. We may be made to feel powerless. Yet come what may, let us have no regrets. No, let us have pride in what we have achieved. In what we achieved, and how it changed us for the better. That's worth fighting for, and dying for, as they did. They're fine! They'll be fine! Don't worry about it! 
I'm not letting myself get sad about it because I don't think they're actually dead. And as I've said before, it's not the dramatic character death that gets me, it's the aftermath anyway. So even if they are actually dead, their death sequences and final words aren't going to be what gets me. I'm going to be coming back and telling everybody that they're dead. Regardless. But they're fine! It's fine, don't worry about it, it's okay. We'll figure something out. There are some structures up ahead, still a ways to go before we reach the dead sun. Given all this, I know how naive it must sound to hope it all works out somehow. Still, you'll forgive me if I wish for it all the same, and for you most of all. Not that you of all people need it, it's just, after all the help you've given me, for once I want to be the one to help you. Hmm, that's a death flag. You yeah, know, it's not too late for them to be especially cruel and make me choose at the last moment which one of them comes back with me and which one stays behind and dies. That would be really annoying for future story stuff, but I'm gonna say leave. Oh. A necropolis? Of all the recreated worlds we've seen, this one feels the most familiar. Does it though? Does it though? I guess. This is almost... Normal? It's not unlike many cities we know, but it's deathly quiet. Mayhap the inhabitants are within the buildings, or invisible to our senses. Wrong on both counts. There is simply no one here. Hello. Medion. I'm surprised this isn't voiced, honestly. This is how I found it when I arrived. Another star which once pulsed with life, but no longer. How it ended, I do not know. Invasion, sickness, suicide, none can say. None lived to speak for the dead. They are gone. Gone. Search all you like, but you'll only end up turning back. She's just chilling here. Okay. What Medion says is true. What are we supposed to do? Hey, how you doing? Think you've caught me? This form is barely a drop from the ocean that swells within the dead sun. Even so, I could easily unmake you. You are only still alive because of your comrades, but they cannot protect you forever. Until they fade away, I'll satisfy myself with watching you try and fail to find a way out of this lifeless place. Stand back here. If there is no one here, then neither should there be emotion to bar our way. Yet Medion seems convinced we'll turn back. What riddle is this? One way or another, we must find the way forward. Let us make a thorough search of the city. Ah, oh, so I get to fly before the Endwalker quest. Okay, I mean, yeah. Makes sense. Anyway. Whatever Medion may have said, we should confirm it with our own eyes. We need to have a look around. She's still here! <laughs> Why is she just chilling? 
Indeed, at the very least it doesn't appear to be a sprawling place like those before. If we split up, it shouldn't take too long to cover the area. She's still just standing there. Hello? You're just gonna freaking chill here? Okay. A little awkward, but okay. Look at the vantage point. Doesn't seem to be anyone here. Perhaps you could try calling out. Hello? If anyone has heard you, they do not respond. Well, I mean, it's called the necropolis, so like, that's probably not great. Not a good starting point. Bar counter. This place is reminiscent of a bar, but neither patrons nor staff are anywhere to be seen. Egg-shaped containers line the shelves, with a loose view sitting on the counter. Vessels for the beverages, in all likelihood. A venue bustling with activity, until it was not. Tree-like object. I mean, that's fair. It's not actually a tree. The object resembles a tree and appears to have been fashioned from a stone-like material, erected in place of an actual tree, or to serve some other purpose, perhaps. Regardless, there is no one left to explain, to tell the story. Were it not for the thick layer of dust, one could imagine someone drinking from these cups, but moments ago. In the distance, you glimpse Alize picking her way through the ruins, but otherwise spy no signs of life. If anyone can hear me, say something. Her call echoes faintly before being swallowed by the silence. Ooh, that's a cool looking mosey in Alize's direction. Trying to see if there are ways to reach the nearby aisles, just in case Medion was bluffing. What's that? There's a central area we haven't been to yet, I guess. Hmm. Not zooming in to read the name of it because it's probably a spoiler. I'm missing one. Rusty door. Set slightly off the ground, this appears to be a door, while the objects to the left could be letterboxes. The door is rusted shut, and the film of dust all over suggests no one has come through in a long, long time.
Carolyn, take a look at this. If the road was a little longer, we could take it to just beneath the dead sun. But I suppose this is where the reconstruction ends. How about you? Did you find anything of interest? I see. I noticed the same things. Cuff cups left on tables, chairs out of place. I don't know what happened here, but I do know I don't want to be alone anymore. We've searched enough for now. Let's find Alphino and compare what we've learned. Those rocks are like right underneath. And back we go. Ozma. God, imagine having a riding map. Couldn't be me. I'm like one fade away from doing it too. That's unfortunate. Did you find anything? No. This place is completely deserted. And I can't see how we're supposed to move on from here. Neither can I. It's quite the quandary. There are no denizens to bar our path, yet there is no way forward. For another mystery, we did find signs of very recent life. You'd swear everyone just vanished into thin air. I wonder how many ruined worlds like this has Meteor seen. Could it be? Yes. Yes, I believe I may have puzzled this out. Despite how it appears, it's no different this time. There is someone here who has wished for this ruin. A median? And I believe that together, Alize and I can overcome their will. Yeah, yeah, that's about the just about what I expected for the story stuff. I will play along with the dramatic effect, even though I'm pretty confident they're gonna be fine. Everybody has a death flag over their head, so either they're all dying and it's not going to bother me, or a select few are going to die, in which case I'm not going to know until the time comes. So, I will play along though. Uh... No, I won't allow it. I'm not allowed to die on my watch. I'm afraid it has to be done. For our comrades, for everyone on Atheris, and for myself. I will not pretend otherwise. I have my fears. Not for myself, but for you. The last to remain. You are no stranger to carrying the burden of others. But I can only imagine how heavy the weight would be this time. As your friend, I cannot bear the thought of making you suffer so. Then why suggest such a thing? It's too much to ask of anyone, even her. Why must she be the one? Why must she fight alone? More than a hero, she's a dear friend. Not only to us, but to so many others. There are so many people in the world who care for you, and yet... And yet... <laughs> I 
Alize, I have an idea. Given the nature of this realm, it may be possible to do more than unbar our friend's path. We might also pave her a new one. For instance, a path where she finds happiness at journey's end. Oh, a metaphorical path, I see. Hmm. This much, I think we can believe with the utmost conviction. No matter how deep our despair. So please, believe in us too, and press on. Thank you. What are you? If the plan's decided, then let's not dally. you are. It was as I said, was it not? It was. We couldn't find anyone. But this place isn't entirely deserted, is it? You are here. You sought out a star of promise and found a ruined husk. Like us, you explored the devastation. Like us, you were stricken. Horrified by the thought that so many lives could be snuffed out as if they were worth nothing. And the thought that you would have to bear the terrible tidings to Hermes. That which you saw and felt, you shared with your sisters. As did they share their own grim findings with you. Overcome by the pervasive despair of these stars, some of you inadvertently ushered their peoples to their ends. Knowing the horrors you know, anyone would feel the same. They would fear what lies ahead and struggle to move forward. Fear? I had forgotten that such a thing existed. So focused have I been on shepherding despair. If you can remember, then you can still face and overcome your own fear. Why would I bother with such an insignificant emotion? If the despair I command is as a raging river, then fear is but a trickling stream. It can do nothing to alter my flow. You spoke with the Aya, yes? Heard their tale of what awaits the universe. It's true. The stars grow colder and more distant. Eventually, all will enjoy frozen solitude. Using the power of Dynamis, I'm hastening that process. In so doing, nothing will be born ever again. Everyone will remain dead. Alas, it will take time for that to happen. So in mercy, I sent you my gift, to spare you needless suffering. Don't worry. Even if no living witnesses remain to mark the event, I'll make certain that Atheris has a proper end. For all the power you wield, you're more fearful than the familiar you used to be. That meteor feared simply to move forward, but your fear is such that you've given up on everything. I know it well, that sense of defeat. I've tasted my fair share of it. 
But as many times as we've fallen down, we've learned how to pick ourselves up and carry on. We take each other's hand, share in each other's courage, follow in each other's footsteps, and turn sorrow into strength. There are times when we fail. We bear wounds that do not heal. But these experiences are part of life, and they make us stronger. We rise, fall, and rise again. Don't worry about us. You must take the next step, and all the rest after that. Ooh, nice craftsmanship. I'm confident that not all of them. Like, there's, there's probably like some people, maybe, will stay dead. But earlier in Old Charlian, wow, that's a track I haven't heard in a hot minute. Nothing. Just a headache. Oh, they'll be fine. I know they will. Apologies for the interruption. A man arrived on the last ferry. An associate of the Scions. Whomst? He wishes to speak with you at once. How many... I thought we had all of them here. Who am I forgetting? I got some bad news for you, bud. They're all gone. I hear some jingling. Is it Gaius? Some ominous jingling? Actually, it's probably Xenos. It's probably Xenos. It's not too late for him to be relevant in the story. <laughs> I have no idea how he could be, but like, there's still a chance. Oh. In this city devoid of life, you sense the presence of another. The sorrow of a thousand thousand worlds weighs heavy, and yet you can walk on. Hi! I'm being perceived by a freaking humanity from Dark Souls. Unable to execute certain actions. Ooh! Look at that! Endwalker. Walking alone unto journey's end, the burden weighing heavy. Am I stuck RP walking? 
Oh, I'm a little, little faster than walking. Need a push? I'll be right there behind you. Sacrificed themselves to pave the way for peace. We will never abandon our cause. While it is true that man succumbs all too often to anger and avarice, he may yet overcome his baser instincts through the forming of bonds with others. Such victories are rarely won without sacrifice. But the prize is worth the price. And we, for our part, are glad indeed to be able to welcome friends both old and new. Save your tears for the morning. You may be sure we will have ample cause to shed them, be they for joy or despair. Sacrifice, we rise to greet a new dawn. A future shaped by the choices we made in ways we could never foresee. Yet miracles do happen, so let us pray and will our friends hope. Stop praying until I know they're safe. Let me get Reem. Strong art thou, mortal. Even dragons. Missing one over there? Okay. Hello. Look to the light within. That you may continue to serve as a beacon to others. Let's finish this. Mm hmm. There is no way to reach our nest. I told you. Resignation and acceptance reign in this place. The rejection of life by those who came to curse it. Those whose dreams were unfulfilled, whose prayers were unheard, whose labors were unrewarded. Hope cannot deliver you unto hopelessness. Our refuge is beyond you. Always has it been. Such is the nature of this place. You should have remained on a Theris. Struggle will avail you not, nor will it grant your comrades peace. Come, let me relieve you of your burden. You have suffered enough. Uh, no. Okay. I don't know what we're gonna do with this, but we'll do something with it. Asm's magic. 
so long as our souls remain. You can use it to summon us back. But you mustn't. How do we make peace? That's why it's too soon for this to end. You must triumph. Be safe, all of you, and come back. I'm never grateful. After all these years, is this the answer I was hoping for? So long as we remember, our fates remain ours to shape. Perhaps when our time comes to return to the star, we shall remember these few days we have lost. The um, dream sequence with the bubbles Do not squander it. has not been the relevant yet. Is it time? Finally? Maybe? I've been waiting. I won't forsake our cause. Finally! I bid them remember, but all this time I'm the one who had forgotten. <laughs> A right fool you've made of me, Hermes. Well, you remembered now, and that's what matters. And to add insult to injury, I've been denied a sound rest, forced to watch this clamorous show. Oh, come now. It's been a gripping tale. Unbreakable bonds and noble sacrifice, sprinkled with moments of levity to counterbalance the pathos. It's got it all. <laughs> I, for one, would have been perfectly content to watch enraptured from the stalls. But I won't say no to a bit part. What are you? Half-faded souls of the dead. Isn't it painfully obvious? Worry not. We haven't the power to defeat you, nor is it our duty to do so. Not anymore. That being said, we do have a score to settle. So here I am, Venar. I suppose you needed me to tie it all together, these frayed threads of our history. But knowing you, I suspect there's a joke in it too. Oh yes, I can imagine you gloating over my forgetfulness. Were I feeling charitable, I might assume you had left room for the possibility of this outcome. Even so, you'll get no applause from me. A single gesture will not lighten the burden I've had to bear. Still, you must be commended. Our methods would not have brought mankind this far. Fancy that. And so, as a show of respect to the last of us, I make this declaration. You will not end our journey. That is our answer. The answer of all lives of Atheris, past and present. As you've called us to the stage, so shall we perform. And creation magics never fail to please. Drawing upon the hopes of your comrades, we will make for you a new path. What form said path takes depends on you. So focus. Focus and envision that which rejects the claim that you cannot attain your goal. 
Uh, are you just telling me to picture a mount? <laughs> because I... Uh... Ours is the wisdom to weave the fabric of reality. Ours is the power to create. Ooh. It's the flowers. This is extremely near, though. <laughs> Meteor. Though I gave you these wings to soar the heavens, I did not teach you how to walk the earth. So loath was I to bind another living being. In the course of your long journey, you will learn from those you meet. Learn to walk and run and so much more. A flower. Aww. Yes. Upon your return, I will gift you a beautiful flower. These Elpis blooms serve as proof that this realm is not utterly devoid of hope. No more can you deny its power. No more is yours the dominion of despair. In case the practical implications were lost on you, your comrades no longer need fight their fight. So go on. Call them back to your side. Yeah, see? Told you. Just smack them a little bit, you freaking idiots. Thank you, but... Ugh. Be worried for a second there. Not really, but like a little bit. I was starting to get a little worried. Magic gone. Oh no, we're just doing you ever walk in the light. Oh ah. <laughs> how disappointing. Not even a single scar in the making to brag about. That adjustment to the saying though. Oh my god. You'll find a way regardless. Honestly, this is far more than any of us could have hoped for. Let us be thankful. Indeed, that we thus stand reunited is a gift. Let us not squander it and see that we all return to its heirs. We're not done here, though. Aye, as soon as we've averted the final days. Yeah. Like, Medion's like crying in the field, but... Our heroic sacrifice paid off. We still have to, like, do something. Come, my friends. Let us carry on and finish it. Together. You okay? It's over, Medion. Said in as gentle and friendly a voice as possible. <gasps> I still want a giant conglomerate of like biblical angel bird girl blob to fight as the final boss. Oh damn. Well that is a blob.
It's like the egg. Can you, you know. Hear me? The egg is hatching, you know. Yes. The voice is within. Crying in pain. Wailing in sorrow. Hurting. Hurting. End it. Silence it. Silence our song of oblivion. It's a single burb. Proceed. So it seems. They gone? You're leaving. Of course. The encore is finished. And I will not suffer myself to live again by Heidling's magic. That's fair. <laughs> but more than that, the future you seek is not the past we loved. That is why we fought, and why I lost. But though you defeated me, my ideals are inviolate, invincible. Spare me your pity. I have no use for it. If you would do something for me, save our star. See this tale to a triumphant conclusion, and with elation in your hearts, bid the final curtain fall. Only then may it rise again, and a new tale begin. With new parts for all to play. <sighs> Tell me, have you been to the ruins beneath the waters of the bounty? Uh. Or the treasure islands beyond the frozen waters of blind frost in Offerd's north? The fabled golden cities of the New World. The sacred sites of the forgotten people of the South Sea Isles. Don't threaten me with a good time, man. You're making promises. You're making promises for 6.1, my dude. The setting expectations. What about Mericidia? God, please. The continent. Do you know aught of its present state of affairs? No, but I want to go to Mericidia. I thought not. Even of your little Eorzea, you know precious little. The true identities of the Twelve, for instance. Oh, don't worry. That will be addressed in uh, whenever the first Alliance raid starts coming out. Don't worry, but <laughs> All of which is to say, expand your horizons. Go forth and seek discovery. Some of the civilizations in the Reflections will surprise you. Sounds like clickbait, dude. As the bearer of Azem's crystal, you may consider your duty to see at least that much. I certainly did. <laughs> I pray we meet again. If not in this life, then... Perhaps another. Whensoever it should be, I trust it will be a most joyous reunion. For you, maybe. <laughs> I want nothing to do with it. <laughs> oh, don't be that way. There they go. Insert... Insert Reb bawling right here. <laughs> Just 
just uncontrollable tears. I can tell. You ever watch a cutscene and tell that people who like a character are gonna freak out? This is that. Goodbye, though. Uh, I've been waiting for you guys to show up this whole time. Please chill. I will not bug you anymore. <laughs> Thank you for throwing some flowers on the ground. <laughs> Much appreciated. Very near of you. Thank you, Emma. <laughs> Thank you, Hades. Very cool. <laughs> also, I knew they were dead. Look at that. Look at that. See, I told you. Like, I never assume somebody is dead until, like, you have to tell somebody else that they're dead. And even then, even then, it's not 100% sure. Like, the Yashtola fake out in Shadowbringers. I was like, she's not dead. And then we told Runar, and I was like, well, maybe, but she's probably not. You know. Anyway. <clears throat> This is quite a different tune to lead into the last dungeon than Shadowbringers. We still have a dungeon left! And a trial! Oh boy. Anyway. It is my fervent hope that our ancient friends will find a new beginning. They and all of their brethren who have returned to the Ethereal Sea. For that to come to pass, we must succeed. We must avert the final days and save Etheris. To go and see all those places and more, Emmett Selk has given you quite a task. Suffice it to say, I should be glad to assist you, once we've returned together triumphant, of course. For all the lives on those stars whose light hath been extinguished, for the ancients who went before us, I offer a solemn prayer. No need to explain. I have a rough idea of what happened while I was gone. It was a strange feeling, as though I was struggling in a pitch black sea. A powerful tide was trying to wash me away, one that churned with hatred and envy for life, and it was all I could do to swim against it. And suddenly I was here. It felt long and short at the same time, hazy as in a dream, but through it all, one thing was crystal clear. You fought with all your being to keep our hopes alive. I can't claim I fully understood the workings of this place, but in that moment, I felt I knew what I needed to do felt that it was the right time to offer up this life I owe, that I could risk it all on the wager that the rest of you would manage without me. Well glad am I to see that I was right. As different and mysterious as the ancients may be, they were people, not unlike us, the first people to fall and feel pain, and the first force to find a way to rise again. From them we have come, and in our pain and suffering we are connected. Jeez! I didn't think it was that big. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't have my camera pointed that way this entire time. Okay. <laughs> anyway. I don't think I ever even... I don't think I ever knew what to say to the man. In retrospect, it always felt like the wrong thing. But the past notwithstanding, he came to your aid in your moment of need. We are here, and we will not squander this chance he has given us. We will see this tale to a triumphant conclusion, and bid the final curtain fall. I can fly now! And I'm pretty confident that that quest is Endwalker, the very last one. So I'm just gonna really quickly unfog the map here, and then we will go and proceed. think got most of this undone. Enjoy the music while I unfog this real quick. It's a tiny little box. They always do such cool things with the music in this game, and I think this is potentially the- Potentially one of the coolest things that they've done. They're all pretty... Pretty equal in like how cool they are, but this- having a zone whose music changes as you progress through it 
is very exciting. Also, there's a fate down there. Whee! I might as well go get that. What is it? People are working on it, too. Hopefully this this is a boss one, so it might overwrite the music. I'm kind of upset if that happens, but it's fine. It's a dragon. Dang it, it did overwrite it. I'm mad. Oh well. Torn from the heavens, though. Muffled violence. And now we can get the riding map, and we can go and unfog this last little section. Violence has concluded, we return to vibes. Is this gloom? Astromagnetic storm. Ooh. It's basically just space gloom. Pretty, though. And mapping the realm is done. We'll go get the writing map. Where was the guy? There we go. There we go. Look at how big that is. Oh, and there's like stuff falling out of all the cracks. Big. Very big. Okay. Are we ready? I'm sorry, Chocobo. I'm putting you away. You're ruining the mood. There it is! Here we go. Can't believe this isn't voiced. <laughs> oh well. Are you ready, Carolyn? 
Yes. Part the goop. Let me see what the dungeon is. And let us set forth for the reckoning. Having come this far, I know everyone's resolve is beyond doubt, but I will say only this. Within that dead sw sun swirls the emotions. Oh, goodbye person leaving my huntling shell. <laughs> Within that dead sun swirls the emotions that Medion has hoarded, the emotions of innumerable souls who strove for happiness but failed. As it was with the denizens of Ultima Thule that barred our way, it is not for us to rebuke and admonish. It was not by passing judgment on the tragic legacies of others that we arrived at this moment. Rather, it was by opening our hearts to their despair, by understanding and acknowledging their fates, while still refusing to share in them ourselves, to hold fast to hope, not in ignorance, but by choice. Should you struggle to do so, I am here to help, as you have all helped me. Everyone's going home today. Understood? No more dying on me, okay? I don't got any more juice in my, my food gummy. I. Break the slab. The dead ends. Hmm. Did they literally show us the last dungeon in the launch trailer? We'll find out when I get in here, but damn, that's bold if so. There's been a shot in the launch trailer that I haven't seen yet, and it's been in the back of my mind this whole time. I assumed it was going to be this map, but then I loaded in and I'm like, that's not what this looks like. I'm running out of places. Let's talk to everybody. Emmet Selk and Hythlodeus created these flowers from our hopes. If so, mine and Alize's shall live on here. I hope that you will find happiness at journey's end. So let us go, Carolyn, and see this tale to its conclusion. Just so you know, Carolyn, I won't try to keep up with you in the coming battle. No, I mean to surpass you. If there's anyone who'll need to keep up, it's Astinian. I'm not joking. Both Alphano and I have worked hard and come far. It's time we set our sights higher. So you had better watch out, else you'll find yourself in my wake. As Alphano says, everyone's resolve is beyond doubt, yet ere we set forth, there's a thought to which I must give voice. While you were in Elpis, I understand that people assumed you were familiar. In contrast, those phantoms we encountered in the recreated Amarot regarded us as children. As people, albeit naive and immature. The discrepancy, I posit, is a reflection of their creator's perspective. Having spent eons among sundered men, perhaps he came to acknowledge us, even if only subconsciously. With Emmet Selk gone, we may never learn the truth, but I will not suffer this and countless other mysteries to go unsolved. Our journey will not end this day. Thus far, we have encountered recreations of some few stars. Doubtless they account for but a fraction of the innumerable worlds to whose fall Medion did bear witness. Roiling with torment, the dead sun is forsooth oblivion's apotheosis. It shall be no small coup to breach this nexus of despair. And yet, as this vista doth prove, where there is hope, there is a way. So let us press forward together, as e'er we have, and find our way unto victory. seems our arms and armor are in order, as are our personal effects. Most importantly, we have each other. We need only finish what we came here to do. Avert the end. For Minfilia, for Reen, for all who aspire to live. 
So the moment of reckoning is finally upon us. I must say, when I pledged myself to your cause, never did I imagine that it would bring me to the very edge of existence. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. After casting aside vengeance and shedding title and duty, I found myself wanting for purpose. In journeying with you, there has been nary a dull moment. In the course of it all, I feel as though I have found a new place for myself, and a welcome opportunity to see how much the boy has grown. I owe you a debt, I, but as you can guess, I've ever preferred to express my gratitude through action rather than word. My lance is yours. I am returned thanks to you, but we still have work to do if we are to make our promise a reality. Having you show me the sights in Ishgar, then regaling me your greatest adventures, then embarking on a new adventure together, for these things and more, I will fight. What? Could there possibly be an adventure greater than this one? Of course! So long as you desire it and dare to take the first step, there is absolutely no limit. I saw this one already. Okay. Uh. So. Here's our dungeon description. Very dark. Here, at the edge of the universe, await as many stories as there are stars in its sea, of rises and falls, of beginnings and ends, of a little bird who left home with hope, yet nested in sorrow. Hearken unto these tales to be told. I know who's coming with this time, just for the sake of, you know, story stuff. I don't want to split up Alphino and Alize for this, but I want Yashtola to come with me because she's been there from the very start, but I want Graha to come with me too. Why can't these be five-person parties? In all compositions, Let's give it our all. Alize is coming. I'm sh I'm hope I'm assuming that the last trial is going to be like a an eight-man trial anyway, with like a trust trial, so they'll probably all be there anyway, but the dungeon I can't split them up. Would be a pleasure as always. And to be perfectly honest, I stand ever ready. They're both black mages. It's just a matter of which one do you like more. I feel bad. I like you, Yustola, but we have to keep the red trio together, okay? And the red trio and Alphino. Alphino is here too. He, he can come. He's allowed. He is Alize's plus one. Okay. It's fine, you'll be there in the trial, Ashola. Don't worry, I'll see you in a minute. Mwah. I love you. Let's go. I started in Lim Solo Minsa, so Yashtola was the first scion I met. That's why I think she deserves preferential treatment. So you are finally here, in this place between death and rebirth, where life knows no dawn. Come then, follow me down into the darkest depths of despair. The birds! They did! Those crafty bastards. They showed us the last dungeon! Wow. This music is very... kind of high energy. Higher energy than I would have expected for... Once upon a time, there was a beautiful blue star that fell to pestilence and rotted inside and out. It's like a little fish person. Yeah, they- I- this! This visual is what I thought that 
Ultima Thune was going to be. Okay, moving. Ooh, a little bit of lag. Oh, you're alive! Oh, you're so cute! Can't see any. Moving on. This is truly what Medion and her sisters saw. Are these like really the more its people clung to life, the more they suffered? Like Namazu. They're Namazu. I can see them from how they're moving. Ow. I feel like these dungeons are going to or these levels we go through are going to change drastically. And we're going to see a bunch of different worlds ends. Ooh. bit of lag. That's fine. Long forgotten seashell. Why do you ask such a question? Do you not see the plague and pestilence that consumes us? Ours is a world of rancid blood and rotting flesh, where death is the only remedy to suffering. There is no meaning to be found in such misery. But it was not always thus. Beneath the waves, we knew only peace and plenty. We wanted for naught, and yet craved more, that our progeny might someday flourish as we never could. Eventually, we ventured to the lands above, bearing flame and iron, toppling any who dare oppose our might. The world was ours for the taking. Oh, these are the answers to her questions. lagging again. Come on. There we go. That was fun. You have anything to say? No? Until they curse not the illness, but their fellow corrupted. I see.
That's a big kobold with a different model, obviously. This world is not the boundless paradise we were promised. Our population quickly outstripped the habitable land, while seas we thought would shine forever blue ran dry, spoiled in forging the tools of conquest. Cramped homes turned to squalor, and then came the sickness, our undoing, and the final blessing the star has to offer. We are no longer the fools we once were. Wheresoever life goes, death will follow. Indeed, existence is but the most painful path unto nothingness, and the wise embrace their obliteration wholeheartedly. To live only meant spreading this plague unto others. I mean, aside from like all the terrible veiny skies you got going on, like your architecture was nice. Anyway. Those who lived and rested. Those who died. Assuming all of these AoEs are being the slowest exa flares in the West. It's like they played Bloodborne. This is just the fishing hamlet. Craven companionship. Don't want to die alone. had my fill of this nightmare. Ugh. The last? The last necklace of slaying. That's, that's a bold choice of name, but appropriate. Let's go. And the very last of them wished they had never been born at all. Ugh. Well, let's see what the next one's gonna look like. Visions of another world unfold before your eyes. Judgment Day! Inevitability? In a faraway place, a brilliant star eradicated disease. 
before destroying the self-same lives it had saved. Okay, bye. Its people sought ever greater freedoms, no matter the cost. Unforgotten correspondence. That otherworldly beings should first grace us with their presence is a sign. Indeed, they understand that we, the global community, are possessed of the wisdom and compassion needed to guide this star back to the path of righteousness. Yet the freedom fighters dare to undermine us, inviting chaos to disrupt the order we labored so hard to build. They have forgotten the history of the star and its once myriad nations, the wars waged, the countless lives lost. They must be brought to heal, the world united under a single standard, no matter the cost. Uh.
tried to buy peace with fire and steel. Oh look, a fending bracelet. One thing I haven't replaced this entire time. Excuse me, just a moment. <laughs> Here's another one. We constructed the Peacekeeper, the pinnacle of engineering and technology. This mighty war machine was designed to rid us of the freedom fighters, as well as any other potential threats to the peace we have so long pined for. Its artificial intelligence ensures that this singular function is carried out with cold and calculating precision. Indeed, the 10,000 Peacekeeper units we created have now routed every threat to peace, including us. All that remains is to stand and fight. Ah, so it's like a Horizon Zero Dawn situation. <clears throat> Except with less meat slurry. Assuming peace, peace protocol. All life forms must be eliminated to achieve peace in perpetuity. I have you. Oh, 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 ah! I'm stuck! I died. <laughs> I couldn't move. I'm going back. Or the Reapers. The Reapers are also a good comparison. Lightning bad, but I couldn't get out of it. I was stuck in it. By the time, like I moved as soon as I saw it appear, but I couldn't get out of it, and it killed me. I don't know if I was. I missed what? I saw the telegraph, but I thought it was just like a regular AOE. And then when I saw it pop up and persist, I was like, oh, let me get out of it. And then I turned around and it wouldn't move me. Let's try that again, shall we? Appropriate use of the lightning emoji. <laughs> 
Uh-huh. Okay. Let's try that again, shall we? Okay, good. <laughs> it was like, I hope these are narrow line attacks. Because there's a lot of them. I can't see what anybody else is doing. Initiating extinction protocol in accordance with primary directive. Oh. Oh. Touched the floor, didn't count. What in the Baja is this? It's not at all what technology was meant for. <laughs> Slaying bracelet. Okay. And when one asked, what is the point? There were none left to answer. <laughs> ah. Oh, this is the place that nuked themselves. I could talk to you? I have- you have a speech bubble. I can't actually talk to you. But yes, you did. You, you killed all of them. Oof. The plenty. Oh, this is pretty for now. Oh, God, this is really pretty. What a beautiful place. Can't wait to see how this goes to hell. Father still existed a star without strength. Well, 
where none remembered life's trials or its joys. Oh, these are the people that never had anything bad happen to them. Yeah, I don't know. My internet was being really weird for a, a hot minute there. It was really laggy. Should recover in a second. didn't like the transition. Yeah, that's fair. I'm glad it's recovered. Long forgotten essence. A curious traveler visited our star, a bird which proffered these questions. What meaning does life hold? For what do you strive? I could find no satisfactory answer, only bittersweet memories of an age long past. There was a time when we were lesser, and in our nescience sought purpose, struggled to justify life's worth. That was, of course, before we achieved perfection. Now, condemned to our paradise, we understand the fatuity of existence. Like the fledglings we once were, the poor bird could not accept the truth, it asked us again and again, hoping, perhaps, that our answer might change. Materia! Wait. Moving on. What its people had gained from ease, they lost to apathy.
I'm sitting here from the moment I entered this part. I was like, gee, I wonder what the final boss will be for this area. Hmm. If I may. Also, a very pretty skybox. Moving on. Oh boy, we have an LB. Danger pancake. I haven't seen one of those in a while. There was a time when we yearned to explore the heavens, found purpose in the hope of unveiling life's mysteries, a dream shattered when we reached enlightenment and found it empty. There was a time when we believed in our legacy, thought ourselves marking a worthy path our successors might follow, efforts rendered futile when we discovered the keys to paradise and immortality. As individuals, we struggle to know what was right, yet in today's perfect unity, there is not left to question. We are infinitely constricted by the finite, but no more. Rama shall grant us the mercy of annihilation. Lots of materia, okay. God, that's so pretty with a big blue tree and everything. The like crappy area underneath, but still. Moving on. Screenshot because I take pictures of all the bosses. Oh, it has an animated face. Huh. Interesting final dungeon boss. Because it has no relevance. I mean, the world tree. Obviously, that whole kind of vibe, but like, it doesn't really have any story relevance. It's not something that's been hyped up or anything like that. Anyway. This doesn't feel like, like the last dungeon, you know? Anyway. So they created the kindest, most gentle of beasts. Warm glow. I have you. Steps 
were light, and its gift was as painless as it was beautiful. Oh. Why are we s well, we're lagging? That's why. Okay. That's not fair! I was lagging. I couldn't see it until it was already going off. I thought they were intentionally standing in it. That doesn't count. Okay. So they created the kindest, most gentle of beasts. golden glow. They all slept happy ever after. Butterflies. Okay. Oh, frick. Okay, we're fine.
There we go. Not bad when you're not lagging. Dark burb. Oh. Well, that was abrupt. Okay. I was excited to take a nice pretty picture in the golden area, but... Okay! Termination is our weather change. It went from inevitability to termination. I see. Okay. You have anything to say? As always, we'll take our picture. Even though I was excited to take a picture in front of the big pretty tree. As always, we take our silly. And what is our loot? Aiming. Okay. And it's level 90, so we don't get uh, proper stuff. Okay, well, let's go, I guess. Saw that Pokeball for a second. Ugh. Okay. Give me the like biblical angel freaking pile of bird wings and stuff. That you still stand. Your determination defies all reason. The souls within me writhe and recoil in your presence. What must I do? What pain must I visit upon you to make you surrender to despair? No one is unbreakable. What pains one may weather may bring another to tears. But therein lies our strength, for when we fall, our brothers and sisters are there to raise us up, again and again, without end. I see. But no matter how much hope exists, ever will there be more to spare. Ever will the living pass the present and the past the future. Gross. Cool. Okay. Okay. Seven hells. Open the wings, biblical angel. Let's go. Ew. On your guard. 
What's the body look like? Ah, the rage. It rises. Rises. Literally no body, just wings. Awesome. Perfect. This is what I wanted. Good. You just throw a planet at me? I'm sorry, that sound was kind of funny. <laughs> oh, OG Medion. Calm yourself, please. Oh, she's blue. That's how you know she's the good one. And what? One good strike and what? Oh. Stop! Please stop! We will not suffer alone. All will know our pain. No, you don't. Hey. Neat. They go. All are washed in ice, a frozen waste, forever silent. You are very loud. Teleporting back? Or are we trying to what? Get them to teleport? Ah, I see. I did say I was waiting for those teleporters to be relevant. We no longer have our Pokedex. Well, how are we going to justify this? You gifted them escape. And rendered yourself powerless. Bereft of the synergy you claim is your strength. Unless you mean to call upon the dead once more. The End Singer. I only just noticed that it was called the End Singer. Oh, I'm just gonna 1v1 you. Let's go. <laughs> Defiant to the last. But you will be one with us ere long. Little blue Medion, who is my friend. You gonna help me? You will be battered and torn and made to crawl. You will weep and wail and curse your impotence. Curse your life as it fades. As we did. As we died. Such pain and sorrow we felt. Such anguish and rage. 
We tried. We tried. But it was no use. Only when we surrendered did we find release. Only when we embraced death. So join us in despair and embrace yours. My ultimatum. What is happening? Hmm. Good question. This looks like when Neo X Death came through. <laughs> Shinryu? Wait. Is this freaking Xenos? Finally? That's all I can think of when I see Shinryu. At the end of Fuck. everything, I find you, my friend. You're finally relevant! This voice is much cooler than your normal voice. When at last I understood what it was, I journeyed to Charlien to seek you out. Struck a bargain with the woman who shares your gift. In exchange for letting the Scions my aid, I was given the means to come here. How on earth did they give you the- well, I guess so you could summon Shinryu around yourself, or what? Gorging upon what remained of the Mother Crystal. I reclaimed the form of the dragon. And, hungry still for our reunion, I rode the light of the stars to you. I will say, this is his normal line delivery, but with this, like, cool voice effect, really liking it a lot more. I take it this is your prey. Yeah. But why does it still live? Surely it is no match for it. <laughs> okay. I mean, we haven't started fighting yet, that's why. I assumed you would be above something so banal as despair. Am I mistaken? She's like, um, guys, I'm right here. Excuse me? Can I get back to my death and despair thing? <laughs> Xenos joined your party without your consent. <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't, I don't want your help, but I'll take it. <laughs> and I'd rather not give it. Nay, I would have preferred that we enjoy a private reunion. So come, let us dispense with this distraction, you and I. My God, the freaking Stormblood music! I'm sorry, I hit the mic. I need you to understand how much I love Stormblood. You struggle in vain. You will not silence our song of oblivion. Are you gonna tell me a trial is accessible with this? Listen to this music, though. Well, wait, wait, listen to this music. Why are we doing the hard- what? Why the beef tacos? This- Ultima of all things? Like I'm here for it, but what? We're literally on Shinryu right now. Look, look at the little wiggly tail. Oh my god. Oh, there it is. It's everything. I 
I'm sorry, I'm not doing anything. I'm not even queuing for a minute because I just need to, like, ah! literally everything ah invincible is this every final this is every final boss's music put together I hear the storm blood crescendoing in the back. Okay. God damn it. Okay. My hands are shaking a little bit just from like absorbing this. This is awesome. Get my uh, Endwalker thing from earlier. I believe I have my head tilted upwards too. There, that's about it. Ignoring the janky hair. There's just- I was waiting, I'm like, Xeno still hasn't done anything yet. Okay. Bam! <sighs> the final day. Medion and her sisters took to the stars in search of hope. They found naught but despair. Wishing to free mankind from his vain struggle, they began to sing, a chorus borne upon the invisible winds of Dynamis to usher in the final days. Against all odds, you have arrived at their nest at the edge of the universe, in this place where emotions dictate reality. The hopes of your comrades have opened the way forward, and it falls to you to take the last step. Transforming conviction into strength, you sally forth upon Dragonback to confront the end singer and silence her song of oblivion. So, y'all hanging out in chat who've been watching me this whole time, y'all want to speed up my cues? Or, uh, has the dearth of, uh, healers been cleansed since my, uh, Zodiac adventure? That's three. Okay. Let's see. And sexy. Okay, where is sexy? There he is. No, I don't care if sexy just ate crafter food. <laughs> Get in here, sexy. <laughs> I am summoning you from my FC list. One of these is yours. Get in here. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I am a tank. And Gian is also a tank. You're helping us in spirit. It's fine. I think this is all the people that can come. Are we ready to go? Okay! 
Let's go. Wait. Zind. I do not know Zind. Zinda Vera? I have invited Zind. Okay. Have they switched? Yes. Okay, we got six out of eight. We got two pugs. We're gonna see what happens. Y'all already know what happens. I don't. Let me tank so I can die. <laughs> okay, here we go. I can't believe this is- oh, we're missing a healer, that's why it's not an instant cure. Still. This should dramatically increase the queue time. Or decrease the queue time. Oh my god. I'm just freaking riding on Xenos, Shinri or Dragon. I'm sitting here, I'm like, there's still a chance for Xenos to be relevant. Oh, here we go. Frog! <laughs> we got a frog. Oh, give us a countdown. We already got a sage in here, too. Here we go. Singer is recreating the despair she experienced. Oh. Oh, where are they colliding? Is that what we're doing? Okay. And a knockback. Okay, I want to go this way. Oh, that looks like a beam down the center. Yeah. Well, not a beam, but something. Sides? She actually showed these mechanics during that cutscene. Now that I think about it. She is, uh, she got a lot of HP. I can't wait to see what other feathers? Phases this might have? Oh, jeez. All of us have no despair. Yes. Oh, heads. Great, I love that. Oh, 
double tank buster. Elegia Unforgotten? What does Unforgotten do to it? Oh! That! What does that mean? The same end. Again and again. I'm assuming it's gonna explode again. What's well, unexploding? Huh? I'm just gonna stand over here. Whoa. I'm not even. <laughs> My rotation is in shambles because I'm just watching the mechanics play out. Oh my god. Okay, okay, over here, over here. Oh, no, 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 I'm gonna get hit by that one. And then it's gonna reform. The impact event has been recorded. Hmm? What does that mean? Surely there are phases. Oh. What are these gonna do? Uh oh. Oh, these get very big. Phase? 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 Oh, we're back here? Okay. I mean, we're approaching 50%, so if there's gonna be a phase anywhere... Is there a second one? Not sure of the exact range, so I'm just hanging out out here just to be safe. Oh, Mason's boss doesn't seem to cleave with the autos. Mm. Are you gonna phase, or is this all it is? Surely this isn't everything. Come on. You can do better than this. Phase, come on. Ooh. It's 
If there is no happiness in life. That's a new cast. Yeah. Oh, weird. There is only one place it may be found. Oh, hey, it's that thing. Egg. Eggy. Echo Damon. It's pulling things into itself. Oh. It's not. Mm. Apologies for anybody trying to get positionals right now. Interesting. There's so many interesting, like, mechanic pattern and projected onto the arena things in these fights. I think that's actually really cool. A cool way to show mechanics without just your standard orange AoE, you know? Oblivion. Oh, here we go. I feel like I need to tank LB this, so hold on. Just wait. Oh yeah, that's what a limit break is, isn't it? No matter. You only delay the inevitable. This is fate. Um... Um. Hmm. Hmm. Bird? Small bird? Scripted? Is it time for small medium to assist? Little baby blue bird? My friend? Or all of my friends. What is it to get by? No, the hatred, the pain. The loss. We cannot suffer it again. Whoa. We will stand against fate. Alphino's prayer grants you strength. We've been here before. Oh my god, look at my buff bar. <laughs> oh my god. Thus do we know. To never give up. The hope will shine again. Look. Doing extra damage. Oh god, a flag. <laughs> Finally! What I saw. There it is! <laughs> it can only end in misery and desolation. Nor the universe itself. 
I have been waiting this entire expansion for this song! <laughs> I know it's Endwalker Footfalls, but like, they haven't had the actual words to that part. I've been waiting. Big fan of the not 50 million years of transition like the Hades one. Behold, the sorcerer of El Jim. Oh my god. Meanwhile, Xenos is like, hey, I was here. You're welcome. They didn't need. Okay. Oop, that's. All caps. We take our picture. I'm so happy I've been waiting for that song this with the words this entire time. You heard me. Every time the achievement popped up, I was like, that's song lyrics. Where is it? Yay. Exit group pose. Okay, well, hot damn. Let's go. And it's a way for the um, people to, our friends to help us, the trusts, even without needing to be a trust trial. So <laughs> like, now what? Hmm. Did I just jump off of him? What's the purpose? We don't even know if there's ground. Oh, apparently there is. Okay, still. Little, little, ooh, friend medium. Oh, hey, Xenos. So can you just do that now? Can you just like turn into a dragon? Is this little friend or is this like one of the emo ones still? Is an emo one? Okay. Might still be friend. Just. No matter where we flew, there was only darkness, and loneliness, and pain. Here's the thing. You were exploring everywhere, but your home was- We couldn't find the answers Hermes yearned for. The answers he deserved. I know he wanted answers from other planets, but like, I feel like maybe the real friends was- <laughs> You know, I don't know. Let's just go. He's dead now anyway, it doesn't matter. Greetings. You who are my final encounter. I wish to hear your words. Share your feelings. Know your thoughts. May we please... be friends? Or a little thing. It's very depressing. It's like positive, uh. I don't remember. <laughs> it's like, hey, the world's gonna yes. end, but. <laughs> I can see them. The memories of a long, long journey. I'll show you the picture that summarizes this plot when we're done, the serious part. So many people. The thoughts of them overflowing in your heart. Why 
what they live for. What gives their lives meaning? There was never a single answer. You gather pieces of happiness, precious and fragile, only to lose them. Then start again. On and on it goes, until death takes you into its gentle embrace. That which Hermes sent us to find. There it is. Was there all this time? On a That's what I was trying to say, but like less fluently. Oh, we created it together. Like a field of flowers, perhaps. At first a single blossom. It spreads and takes on more colors. Thank you for guiding me here. To find these words at journey's end fills me with joy. And so, before I fall forever silent, there is one thing I must do. No expression of regret will undo what my sisters and I have done, or restore what we have stolen. But if you would allow it, I would sing one last song. A song of the newfound joy that swells in my heart. Of the beauty of light when it shines across a dark and starless sea. to get her original colors back of a dream that from the soil of worlds now lost to sorrow life will spring forth once more nourished by gentle rains and caressed by uplifting winds a song of hope I just want to see Xenos like lurking in the back of this because this is very pretty, but then also Xenos is here. <laughs> He's just like in the back. Ooh, pretty. A sunrise. Uh. Oh, there we go. She has her colors back. Yeah, the camera's done a full 360 and I don't see Xenos in this shot. Where is he? Well, 
Come on, speak up. You mean to return to the world where you are hailed as a hero? Uh, what? You expect me to sit here at the edge of the universe and do nothing? Hear me then. Not as a hero, but as simply you. Okay. As I learned in Alamigo, you are a formidable foe. Stronger than any I have faced. Against you, I need bring my all to bear. I need burn through the candle of my life. This leaving party. is the sole pleasure I know. And it is the sole pleasure I have to share. And so I come before you to issue challenge and offer singular bliss. If you wish to walk away, I will not stop you. You value life. You do not burn yours save for reasons you deem worthy. Reasons such as those which brought you here. The salvation of a world and its people the motives of a hero true. But there is more to you than that. You know this to be true. As surely as you know the thrill of pushing your body and soul to their limits. Of confronting ever mightier foes, dancing ever closer to the precipice. Wondering if this will be the one to finally, finally fill the void. What's your point, man? Such yep. pleasures you seek for their own sake and no other reason. Is this not so, adventurer? You said that like it was a slur, but I mean, most people do. What, I just go and fight things for the sake of fight? I mean, kinda, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I can't deny that. I'm gonna fight things for the sake of fighting them. <laughs> that I can't deny. Ha! Acceptance! At long last! The conflagration of our clash! Will scorch even the star. You play this game for entertainment. <laughs> Finally, gonna fight at the end of the universe. Defeat Xenos. Damn. Ultimatum. Hey, Xenos. Gently bonk. Bro, you're like twice my height. It's just chilling here. Hey, what's up? Endwalker. Like, it's the actual. <laughs> hey, what's up? No, 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 no. There, that'll work. Let's go! Exciting.
be a square. Okay. Also, um... This was not our starting positions, our start- We, what? Woo? Xenos' soul is ablaze with passion. The space comes to life with dynamis as your spirit bursts- burns in kind. Your soul burns brighter, your power swells. Spark of hope. Burning with dynamis shaped by the memory of your journey and exceeding your own limits. Okay. You should be over there and I should be over here. But okay. Hold nothing back. Push yourself to your limit and me to mine. Oh wait, you want me here? Let me eat my fettuccine. Tidal wave. Want me to use pots? I know what tidal wave does. You just go over here. Ha! Still fighting you, I see. Judgment bolt. You're just using Shinryu mechanics? <laughs> the sun went out. That was so cool. Hellfire. Show me your haunted fortitude. You got a Ogmorn, bro? Bro? I guess, yeah, if you're using Shinryu abilities. Come hither? Are you summoning your little buddy? Fighting Xenos at the end of the literal end of the universe, like jeez. Woo, that's a lot. Let me just um do this real quick. Hang out over here. A test of your reflexes. What reflexes? I have none. So this particular version is Endwalker Footfalls, which is what I've been listening to non-stop for like the entire like weekish Diamond Dust leading up to release. I can't see the floor. I'm going to look away. That's fun. Oh. Oof. Where are you going with that? I got him with the primal rend. I really should introduce you to Sadu. I feel like you guys would really. Whoa! 
It's a big wave. I feel like it's not fair that you have this thing. The inferno swelling within you. Also, mine doesn't look like that. I don't even have Reaper unlocked yet, but. Come! Let all creation be consumed by our ravenous fervor! Okay, that's kinda cool though. I have you! Ah, frick! <laughs> Excuse me, you have to give me a chance to fight back. Do not tell me your life's fire is already spent. Can I get up? Yeah! Flame of Guff's Vintage. Yes! Yes! Rise once more! It mustn't end yet! Rise! Rise to the occasion! Ethereal Ray! Oh! 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 Now! Calm down! Hot damn! Woo! Do you? Woo! Woo! A test of your reflexes. It has yet to actually be a test of my reflexes. So you're gonna have to put that in some other stuff. I can't help but notice that I had six sack stacks of this when I started. How long is this fight? Show me your vaunted fortitude. I'm a tank, man. You're asking me if I can survive a tank buster? A test of your reflexes! I don't even want to try and pronounce what that attack is called. to do about this, so I'm just gonna keep running. Ow. I'm gonna need you to stop for a second, please. Sir. Hey, hey, hey! Stop being on target! Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he's got another phase, surely. Get up! Come on! You can do better than that! Oh, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> you just freaking punch him? We're just punching each other at the end of the universe. Oh, <laughs> well, this is funnier if you're like a white mage. <laughs> you just drop your staff. No more. I'm a healer, but freaking uppercut him. <laughs> Hell yeah. I still have my um. Beast gauge as well. You do actually drop your staff. <laughs> I feel like this scene is might or might not be ruined by the fact that my beast gauge effect is swirling around me, but <laughs> I like that you're just freaking punching each other.
He's fine, probably. I have a different lizard that I would like to introduce you to, if you're still alive. Well, well, there's your thing gone. That I should lose again. Well, I mean, it was pretty close. <laughs> you certainly looked cooler than I did, so. How disappointing. His arm is still all weird. Bonk. But we're just gonna collapse here. Okay. Never have I understood those around me. Understood their obsessions. Besieged by their banality, the world has a mire of tedium and triviality. Was this life a gift or a burden? Did you find? This, I was supposed to be answering this question for Vana, not you. Ugh. The answer's the same, but this answer was meant for Vana. Or is it a rhetorical question? <sighs> Dead? I'm not bringing your body back. You can stay here. Fight biblical angel manifestation of all the despair in the world dies to getting punched really hard. <laughs> oh, it's my Pokedex. Well, I told you I wasn't bringing your body back. Bye. <laughs> Didn't even get to tea back. <laughs> Well, look at it this way. There's nobody that's gonna steal his body, and nobody's body that he can, uh, freaking... ...resonance bonk himself into, so... 
He's not coming back. Probably. Please. I'm not dead. <laughs> Let me sleep. I just got punched really hard. <laughs> Please. I'm not dead! <laughs> Stop crying! It's okay! You can't leave us! Not like this! It's fine. You, I'll never forgive you! Oh. So come on! Open your eyes and get up! I'm coming, I'm coming! Stop yelling! At least ain't not for racing. Yeah, yeah! I lived, bitch. <laughs> ah, and thus begin the credits. Are you... Are you with us? Miraculously. <laughs> Awkward smile. Yes. <laughs> oh, thank the heavens. For a moment, we thought... Is everyone alright? After what you've done, you're the last person. Oh no! Not you two! To be asking that. Can we have, like, if we're just getting the whole crew crying now? Oh my god. You... How can you keep your promise if you're not here? I'm sorry. I'm alive! Stop crying! <laughs> oh. Another fine show you've put on, my friend. A fine show indeed. What were you thinking? Fighting alone. Never do that again. My poor heart couldn't bear it. Oh. <laughs> put yourself in our place. If you hadn't returned, how do you think we would feel? And if that sounds harsh... <laughs> because we care. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> we tended to Jeez. our wounds as best we could. But how is the pain? I mean, I got punched in the face really hard, so probably knocked a few teeth out, but eh. Otherwise, pretty good. <laughs> Grievous as thine injuries were, however, I would counsel repose for a time. Gladdening! There's nothing gladdening about this. What? When Meteon appeared in here and told us that you were right behind her, we all got our hopes up. But you never came. And when you finally deign to appear, you're within an ilm of your life. Damn you. <laughs> Damn you for making us worry. We're fine. We're fine. It's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh. oh, those were cries of celebration. Anyway, well, the important thing is that you're all alive and in reasonably good health, and we mean to get you back that way. As for your earlier request, I'm quite certain we're in range to make contact now. Contact with who? Ah, excellent. Ah. Let us announce our return at once. I see. <laughs> I hope you're ready. Oh no. Hmm, good point. <laughs> While you were unconscious, we set out from Ultima Thule, you see. Can you stand? If so, you may wish to see what's outside. Hmm? What's outside? Okay. Are we like back now or nice? We're home, my friend. We're home. <laughs> <laughs> 
And the trip only takes like two minutes, so... Apparently, so we're fine. Oh, this beat, though. Yeah. Everybody sees us coming back. It's just like a trap remix of the Final Fantasy <laughs> 1 theme. I like how they've got all the innkeepers. Oh, well, there's Lise, and you know, all those other guys, but Lise is who I'm, like, focused on. Hey, Vritra. I like how the credits are showing the appropriate characters, too. That's fun. Aww! Yeah, these guys actually weren't in the story at all. Like, we didn't actually have them as voiced in there at all. They were mentioned, but... There's Alpha. Is that? Aaronville, hey. It is. It's the Ragnarok. They're back. Thank heaven. Where are you going? Are we doing a water landing? Because otherwise we're gonna have to land back in Labyrinthos. You should go through the inside. And there's potatoes are booking it. The gang's all here. How are we landing this? We are doing a water landing. Okay. So is this just gonna be in the harbor in Charlian now? Cause that would be super fun if it was. It's just chillin'. Welcome to Charlian, here's our statue of Thaliac, here's our cool library, here's the giant spaceship we used to travel to the ends of the universe, and uh, here's our uh, shopping district. It's really nice, you know. 
Why is it playing like old <laughs> music? Standard credit roll music. Nice. We did it! Turn the volume down a little bit. We did it! We're officially... That is the end of Final Fantasy XIV. It's done forever. Game's shutting down. No. <laughs> when the next patch comes out, it will be an all new story. So this is the end from 2.0 to now is one continuous story. We have done much. Hell, even this was a lot. Like, oh my god. This was a long story, but it went in a lot of places. It was extremely well paced. Nothing really felt slow, like I was being bogged down or anything. So it was very well paced. My my co-viewer, Azalea, what do you think? <laughs> what you think? Give the audience your review. <laughs> Booba. With words. <laughs> I think you missed a couple of chunks of it from when you were gone, so... I think you got the gist of it. We're getting a thumbs up and a wiggly hand, so... <laughs> I say mostly positive reviews. <laughs> These credits take like half an hour, so don't expect me to be talking for half an hour. But let me show you that stupid picture I was thinking of. I don't know if I can find it. I don't even know what to look for. It's like the stupid... It's like a picture of like a... What am I searching for? I'm usually really good at googling specific things. It's like a nothing matters meme, but it's like like a dude with like his thumbs up, like he's like, yeah. Yeah, this thing! <laughs> I found it! This this is the <laughs> This is the picture that best summarizes this expansion. <laughs> Spoiler tag it just for the memes. <laughs> Let this keep playing. This is showing us probably pictures from all throughout, from like uh, A Realm Reborn all the way forwards. I have nothing more to really particularly contribute, so I am going to turn the volume up a little bit so you can hear the music a bit better. Mute my mic, and I'll be back when the credits are done, because there will probably definitely be a post-credit sequence teasing the upcoming content that has nothing to do with the story that we just saw, because it's all new stuff. So yeah, I'll be back in like, I don't know, 20 minutes whenever this thing's done scrolling. See you in a bit.
That's me! I'm all Final Fantasy XIV players. Wow, every single one. They're all me. <laughs> That's probably the end. I'm back, welcome back. We are all mecha. <laughs> oh, yeah, here we go. We got something. Oh god, more credits! That's fine, but it's credits with video, so we'll take it. This is like the intro. <laughs> like the space you walk through in the intro, but like everybody's here. Aww. The gang's all here. Aww! Aww! Apparently there's maintenance in two hours. Well, it's a good thing I finished then, isn't it? We're just walking past him. Hey, bye! <laughs> <laughs> oh! There's Medium. Oh, is she gonna go be with Hermes? I'm assuming that's what's happening. Aww. Oh! Oh, this is so cute! Oh my god! Aww! That's adorable! The art is so cute! Okay. Are we here finally? Dearest mother. Dearest father. This letter will be the very last that I write to you. From the rising stones. Hmm? Is my baby boy leaving the nest? As I commit these words to parchment. Yes. I fondly recall my journey as a scion. From the time I first walked into the Order's former halls. To the time I set forth to forestall the final days. At the farthest reaches of the Sea of Stars, we fought the battle of our lives. Fought against despair itself. A veritable maelstrom of it, fed by the resignation that dwelled in the hearts of beings not so unlike ourselves. Full oft have I harbored the same malaise. Have I been brought to my knees, crushed by the weight of sorrow and defeat, convinced that I will never rise again. However, I have also known many moments of unbridled joy and happiness. By this truth do I find hope within, blooming resplendent, like the Elpis flower. And thus do I endure. Do I look forward to creating more memories with my friends and loved ones. For from these fertile seeds, yet more hope shall spring forth. And they will grow to become shining lights that illuminate the dark. Thus believing, I leave the rising stones behind, as will my comrades. Oh, all of us. For, as we have decided, after careful deliberation, we are disbanding the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. 
I mean, that's fair. That makes sense. We don't really have a whole lot to... There you are, Alphano. We've kind of resolved a lot of issues. Anyway, hi, Tatar. Everyone is already gathered in the foyer. My apologies. I'll be right there. At least, that is what the story will be. Ah. We're going back to being a covert operation. to keep you all waiting what could you possibly have left to do now oh just a letter I imagine it will be a while before we can gather like this again so it must be if we're to keep up appearances from now on, it falls to the Grand Company of Eorzea and its allies to deal with the realm's crises. Meanwhile, we shall return to our erstwhile ways. Retreating from plain sight to take our place in the shadows once more. Yeah, so basically what I just said. Indeed. For the foreseeable future, I expect that we must work independently. As we seek out problems that want for solving. But a day will come when we face another great challenge. And we will face it together. As we always have. As much as I look forward to that day, I do hope it doesn't come anytime soon. Fair enough. Well, formal association or no. If any of you should require my services, you need but ask. Wow, Estinian offering to help? Really has come a long way. I'm glad to keep my lance arm honed. I'll hold you to that. So you had better keep your link pearl on hand. So you really mean to stay, Tataru? Oh, someone has to keep the Rising Stones in proper order. And even a super secret organization requires a super secret base of operations. So you're implying you're just gonna keep using the same base? What are you gonna say? To the rest of the world, it will be naught more than a workshop for Eorzea's foremost up and coming artisan. Are a very. Good. If you thought our coffers were full to bursting before, just wait till I can devote myself wholly to the crafts. Yeah, good point. Dang. Plotting to build a mercantile empire to rival that of Lord Lodorito, are we? She honestly could. Don't go after Lodorito. Go after Rowena. You could knock Rowena out, for sure. <laughs> I, for one, look forward to your future successes, Tataru, as do I our next meeting. And with that, I believe it is past time you all made ready to depart. Leave no preparations undone or words unsaid, all right? Now, off with you. Including the characters that I remember their names, but okay, let's see. Tataru, how are you not one of the ones with a marker over your head? You deserve to be. You who you are the one who starts and ends almost every expansion. Maybe after. 
Go on, Carolyn, don't miss this chance to say a word to each of our friends. After all you've been through together, I'm sure they'd appreciate it. I can still scarce believe our battle extended to the ends of creation, but seeing the Scion's mission to completion was both an honor and a privilege. As for myself, I've spent quite a while away from home, so I think I'll return to Limsa Minsa for now. And once I get there, my first order of business will be downing a pint or three at the Drowning Wench. Exploits of you and your companions are truly an inspiration to us all. I have never felt more compelled to hone my own skills, that I one day might be able to accomplish such heroic deeds. Aramgus means to visit Lim Salominsa, and I will join him and continue my search. I know not when we will meet again, but please take care of yourself. Tis a shame the Scions are disbanding, even if only in name. I still fondly recall the day you granted me my uniform. The memory remains vivid, yet it feels like a lifetime ago. I considered returning to the Adder's Nest, but since I've come this far, I've decided I ought to continue my journey and venture to Garlemald instead. I can't hold a candle to the infamous Wandering Minstrel, but I thought I might share with the Garleans the tale of your epic deeds. Extend them an olive branch of song, if you will. Talking to the Miner once first, even though these two are nice. Hello, Isaldar. You were but an amateur adventurer when we first met, but look at you now. You've grown into quite the fine young lass, just as I always knew you would. One might say I ought to settle down in my old age, but seeing you now has set my adventurous spirit ablaze once more. But the first journey I set out upon will be a long-awaited hot springs tour with my dear friend Home. Good, you deserve it! Go all the way out there again. That's great! There has been naught but chaos since the Talafroi first appeared. Towers, lunar primals, the Empire, the final days. Yet we have weathered it all and lived to see the sun rise on a new day. And now that peace has returned, I can finally resume my travels with my grandfather. Perhaps we will go for first to Gugane to relax in the Bokaisen Hot Springs. That might be nice. Of course, my journey will not simply be for pleasure. I will collect information on the territories I travel. Hmm, perhaps I shall visit Nagsha via Doma. Get some actual characters in here now? Uh, that's mean. <laughs> Main characters. Carolyn, seen to your preparations, have you? I'm just making another sweep of my belongings. Wouldn't do to find I've forgotten something halfway to my destination. Oh, in case you hadn't heard, we've received new reports detailing the devastation caused by the final days. It appears the situation is gravest in the lands surrounding the bounty, where the sky first began to burn. After that, the calamity was observed in the far north, in Garlemald and the frozen lands beyond. We also had reports of the heavens catching fire in isolated locations, one which was an area in the northern empty. Had our quest taken any longer, Charlene too may have come under threat. Thank goodness it's over now. To be sure, blasphemies and lesser beasts may still be roaming about, but these localized crises should be well within the capacities of each nation to handle on their own. The Scions are no longer needed. Which isn't to say that we won't help out where we can, of course. As individuals, no more of this order business. For my part, I'll be heading to Garlemald with Alphino. They were among the worst affected, and I st and still need all the help they can get. Won't be easy. An inevitable part of aiding those in need is coming face to face with tragedy. Knowing it doesn't make it any easier, though. That I'll curse my weakness, my inability to fix every problem and save every lost soul. Last soul? I didn't see. But no matter how much it hurts, I won't give up. I'll do what I can for as many people as I can, begrudging no effort. And should I find myself discouraged, I'll remember you. Think back fondly to one of your many moments of triumph and the accompanying determined expression. Even those that still annoy me in retrospect, like when you activated the teleporter without warning. I mean, you survived though, that's fine. And should you hear about me, I want you to remember too. Remember that I'm out there somewhere, trying my very best. I look forward to hearing all about the legendary Alice Leverieux. Proud of you! But not that I'm trying to become famous or anything. That being said... The next time we meet, I'll be vastly improved, so don't be surprised when you find yourself marveling at me. In before time skip, before 6.1. In before tall. 
Yeah, we're gonna. She's just gonna hit like a gross spurt. It's. It doesn't matter if it's gonna be like two years or like two months. She's gonna come back and she's gonna be like a full size Elvis. <laughs> okay, Ariane. Carolyn, thou hast spoken with our comrades. Though this parting be not forevermore, tis nonetheless occasion for sorrow. Akin to a pixie's path, the navigation of such farewells is a perilous endeavor indeed. For their part, however, the Loperates embark upon a new beginning. Though bereft of its purpose as a vessel, the moon yet remaineth hospitable for the creatures of Aetherus. Thus do our lunar visitors convene with the Forum, intent upon assigning some new and beneficial role to our solitary satellite. Yet ere that may come to pass, there is much and more each party must learn of the other, a process which doth promise to be eventful indeed. To that end, a cadre of Loperates hath gleefully dispersed across our lands in the name of mutual understanding. Eidolon, tis said, did imbue them with her love for all things born of this star, and tis Vina's own nature, I believe, which doth manifest in this irresistible, inexhaustible curiosity of theirs. That sounds on brand. Having witnessed that which they strove to achieve, I wish most keenly for their long labors to be rewarded, and their abiding affection for man result in a boon for all. Moreover, I hope to continue our acquaintance and share in such knowledge as they see fit to impart. Acquaintance? I'd call it friendship. You're friends with them. I did not wish to presume. They like you! I would be honored if they should consider me a friend, for it is certainly true that I have grown fond of their company. Aw. <laughs> ah, but I shall digress no further. The day should belong to the scions of the seventh dawn, to mine in incomparable companions. Oft times hath mine reticence caused thee grief, and mine actions spurred allies to suspect betrayal. And yet, here amongst you I still stand. No amount of words could express my gratitude for thine acceptance and forgiveness. Thus instead do I proffer my humble support. Be it unto the deepest abyss or the highest heavens, even if I must needs founder across stormy seas, ever shall I answer thy summons. Does have, like, extra things after? Hey, here we go. Hmm, did I forget to mention anything? Ah, yes, the Hanish envoy who came to see Astinian also bore a letter from Matsya. He writes that Mevan and Karasaf's little girl is doing well, and he often goes to visit her. It won't be easy growing up without her parents, but with her fellow villagers watching over her, I dare to hope that she won't want for warmth as she grows up. Aw. Triage. I understand that following thy clash with Xenos, the teleportation device thou had discarded fell to thee from on high. To return to thee in such a manner, I did confer with Wilfson and Bluida, yet they insist the device was possessed of no such capability. It was a miracle befitting the nature of that place, where emotion becometh tangible reality. Whence then arose this timely wonder, thine ardent wish, or another's fervent prayer? Okay. So it was the one that we- th that I- I thought the teleporter would have gone with, but that's the same one that I threw at them? Okay. Talk to these two, Vama and Rio. Arnvald has pressing matters, according to him anyway. A pity he couldn't be here to witness this momentous occasion, though he bids me tell you congratulations. As for me, well, once the Scions disband, I intend to resume my work in Relgar's Reach. I suppose Arnvald will need support in Girabania too, though he would not admit as much. Well, he will have my help, whether he wants it or not. Xenos willed it to drop net. Yeah, I mean, that that could certainly be something. Feels a little strange now my Link Pearl's gone quiet. Since my unique skills are no longer needed for the safety of the star and all that, I'm going to become an adventurer like you, traveling far and wide. I imagine I'll start by heading to Mericidia or the New World. Just need to find myself a ship first. Riola doesn't get a lot of appreciation. He's good. Mark the Krile. Oh, Carolyn, how are you feeling? Any lingering aches or pains? Yes. <laughs> I can't apologize enough for sending Xenos to find you in Ultima Thule. 
When he came to me in Charlian, I was truly torn. As ever, there was only one thing on his mind. Forced to make a decision, I reasoned that, if he would not be deterred from seeking you out, he might at least aid us in our cause, and so I struck a bargain. In the end, he was true to his word, and you defeated him despite your earlier exertions. But knowing the state you were in, it could have ended very differently. My decision almost cost you your life, and no words could express the remorse I feel. It worked out, though. You did the right thing. It is a relief to hear you say that. Thank you. Time and again, I've been made to feel woefully inadequate. It wasn't much use in battle, nor could I face the forum without my nerves getting the better of me. It always fell to you and the others. I must and will do better, and I shall begin with the restoration of the students of Baldessian. Through our work, Charlene will strengthen its ties with other nations, that we may be better prepared to face whatever threats arise in the future. Of course, this isn't something I can accomplish alone, but thankfully, I have the staunchest of help in Raha and Ojika and our other remaining members. Together, we'll continue Grandfather's work. As before, certain commissions will take us to dangerous locales, and we may need to call upon seasoned adventurers. In such times, might you be willing to assist us? Not because you feel obliged, mind you, but because you feel the lure for the task itself. You know it, I got you. I did Eureka, didn't I? <laughs> Marvelous. Should something of interest arise, I shan't hesitate to reach out to you. Until that day, I shall endeavor to become a more dependable comrade. Oh, I should mention that Aaronville has kindly agreed to share all the potential interest he hears from his fellow gleaners. In exchange, we will help them to restore the archives to their proper order. With the exodus abandoned, all items must be returned whence they came, a task no less grueling than their removal. Even now, Ojika assists in the sorting of arcane artifacts. Oh yes, not only is he a skilled administrator, he's also a certified appraiser specializing in relics from the 5th Astral Era. Despite his qualifications, though, he seems none too keen on the work. I shall have to go and relieve him as soon as I can. Elfino. Oh, Carolyn, pray forgive me for delaying the gathering. I was writing a letter, you see, to my parents. As busy as father has been, tending the aftermath of the Exodus, he has been good enough to show concern for the Scions. And besides, I've made them worry enough for a lifetime. Henceforth, I will endeavor to write as often as I am able. A little effort to set their minds at ease while we continue to be away from Charlian. Both Alize and I are off to visit to assist with Garlemald's recovery, you see. Though uncertainty remains over what will become of the nation, we cannot well leave the capital in its present state. We will rejoin those members of the Ilsebard contingent still stationed there. Lucia and Maxima helm the relief effort, with support from our allies, the people of Garlemald among them. They will gradually be joined by those who have finished treating the tempered across the lands. Lest you misunderstand, we do not seek redemption for failing Lucinia and her sister. That is a burden we must always bear. Nay, we go because of the truth in Lord Quintus's words. The truth that, whatever ideals individuals may espouse, nations are not moved to action unless they stand to benefit. For the foreseeable future, the fallen empire will be at the mercy of both internal and external forces. And though I do not doubt the intentions of the contingent, with greater powers involved in the relief effort, our allies may well find themselves drawn into a political agenda. In going, we seek to ensure that the needs of the people come first, to understand their hearts, that we might better help them to begin anew. Yeah, you best write me too. <laughs> Write you letters? Of course I would be glad to do so. But I'd be gladder still were you to come and visit, and I believe I speak for Alize as well. For fairly as long as I've been in Eorzea, you've been at my side, watching over me, in good times and bad. How many times have we gathered to share tidings? None could possibly keep count. 
The world is changing and will continue to do so, yet no matter what the future brings, I hope that I can ever look to you, in good times and in bad, as a dependable comrade and dear friend both. Thank you, Carolyn, from the bottom of my heart. I've been keeping Arnvald abreast of the situation in letters, but unfortunately he could not be here today. When it is convenient for both of us, we should pay him a visit. What is he up to? Does he have a mech? <laughs> oh, Flamine. The salvation Minfilia dreamed for Eorzea comes closer to reality with every step the Scions take. Yes, the world may still be in the throes of change, but it is improving. I see it happening day by day, and I sit here, praying that whatever new road you walk will bring you the wonder and joy you deserve. Should you need a rest in between your journeys, do come by and join me on the terrace for old time's sake. Ah, our champion and savior. I was beginning to think my chance for an audience would never come. Him. It sounded more amusing in my head. Speaking of heads, I was worried about yours, and the rest of you, for that matter. On the mend, I trust? You know, this broke- you just, like, bruised every bone in my body, but I'm fine. <laughs> Glad to hear it. You were in a bad way, and healing magics or no, I'm impressed by how swiftly you've recovered. Then again, tis hardly the first time you've cheated death. Your strength of will has never failed to astonish me. Look at what you've accomplished. Medion defeated, her song of oblivion cut short. The source and all her reflections delivered from the final days. If you had faltered at the last, then all hope would have been lost. But you held fast. Now the, now Reen has a tomorrow to look forward to, and I could ask for no greater gift than that. A shame that Reen's nowhere on the map in the Crystarium, so I could talk to her in between. Maybe. As for a lesser gift, however, the next time you see her, I would appreciate you not describing my travel plans with Uriange as aimless wandering. We have a purpose in our roaming, after all, keeping an eye on things in the absence of the Scions on the world stage. There'll never be an end to the little problems that go untended by nations. We will do our best to help out where and when we can. Which I suppose is an approach not far removed from aimless wandering when you get down to it. Perhaps you could tell her I am faring well, and leave it at that, eh? No need to mention this feeling of being uprooted. I've never been one to stand still for long, but when I think of home, tis the rising stones which comes to mind. How many times have we set out from this base, thence to return when our work was done? On the day the Scions came together, I only hoped for Minfilia to find a place where she belonged, but never did I expect to find one here for myself. Indulge me, Carolyn. I have a question for you, and imagine Minfilia herself is asking. Are you glad you joined the Scions? Both of these <laughs> options are yes. <laughs> Best decision I've ever made. I like an answer somebody when they ask me these questions. Thank you for not giving me a rhetorical question. You talked to him first, and he still said finally more. <laughs> That's extra funny. Uh, I, I can honestly say the same. But all good things must come to an end, at least for a time. Should you need a helping hand for infiltration or reconnaissance, you know who to ask. I'll come running, and you'll likely get a certain funny-talking fortune teller into the bargain. Look at these two just guys being dudes, aimlessly wandering. <laughs> In case you've not heard, the Waking Sands will be converted into a warehouse. We'll be keeping the place free of rats and cobwebs so it can still serve as an outpost should the need arise. Considering Tataru's ambitions, however, I'd not be surprised if she claimed a lot for her budding empire. <laughs> the Waking Sands will never... <laughs> will never fall. <laughs> now let's go to Astinian next. I'm slowly moving my way across the room. Oh, this music, huh? We're just gonna stare at each other? <laughs> oh no! 
I was gonna break the silence. There we go. If you have something to say, then out with it. <laughs> Just worried how you'll earn your keep now, Mr. Unemployed. <laughs> You talk as if the Scion's dissolution was more than mere pretense. There may be fewer calls to action, but we should be compensated as before. Why are you so concerned for me, anyway? In any case, I do not want for options, even if some are worse than others. No sooner did Amrik hear about our disbandment than he offered me a position as a guardsman of the Imperium District. As a former Azure Dragoon, I'm guaranteed to be popular, he said. Who does he take me for? Even without his meddling, I'm perfectly capable of finding employment. And have. <laughs> Some days ago, a Hanish envoy arrived with word from Vritra. The worm requests my presence as soon as things have settled here. He didn't deign to mention why I'm needed, but it pertains to dragons, like as not. In Thavnir, like elsewhere, the phenomena caused by the final days abated when you defeated Medion. Though it was too late for those who had already transformed, life is beginning to return to normal for the survivors. Of those who sought refuge in Charlian, most have already returned home. But many do not have a home to return to, nor loved ones. By an arrangement between Vritra and the Forum, such souls may remain in Charlian if they wish, to work and study. Vritra was always the satrap in truth. It's gratifying to see him become one in name as well. One who has the complete confidence of his people, if the envoy's tone was any indication. I often find myself speaking favorably of dragons of late. Not so long ago, I would have assumed his benevolence hid ulterior motives, but tis clear he cares for his people, and they in turn revere him. To know such a nation may flourish is comforting. Retra's kin sought release from conflict, so wary were they of the suffering it wrought, they surrendered to oblivion. But Midgard Sormer didn't give up. In hope, he made the journey to distant Aetheris with his clutch of eggs. And though his progeny went on to be embroiled in conflict with men, there were times when they transcended hatred to abide in harmony. That is their legacy and their triumph. In my lance, I feel the weight of their struggle and the strength of their resolve, and it lends me strength. These things I might never have learned had I not joined you. Should you ever have need of me, I will come. At the very least, it might be an opportunity to earn coin. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Have you considered EX farming for materials? They're quite lucrative. <laughs> Word has it. A false deity born in the Tower of Zot has survived and occasionally appears to terrorize the locals. Those who vanquish the being and present proof in Radzat Han will receive a handsome reward, though handsome isn't the word I would use to describe such outlandish garb. But while I'm in Thavnir, perhaps I will acquire a set to send to Amrik in lieu of an answer to his job offer. Let him stand guard thus attired and be the talk of Imperium, if not all Kurthis. <laughs> Look at these two freaking ragging on each other. I love it. You mentioned the X farming, and well... You know, that is fair. Well, the thing is, if the Tower of Zot's a dungeon, unless they're gonna make an EX of the Mega Sisters... He's basically describing EX farming, though. You're right, you're right. <laughs> Sell the crafting materials from them. They go for a fair bit. <laughs> okay, so we gotta talk to everyone aside from these two, because that'll finish it. I'm so glad the danger is past. There was nothing I could do but pray from here, so I was relieved to the point of tears when everyone made it back safely. I imagine we'll have more free time now, so I was thinking I'd study up on healing magic so I could make myself more useful in the future. My first stop will be the Astrologicum in Ishgard to learn about Charlene astrology. I must follow Ogre's lead and continue to hone my skills. Please don't let Jean- <laughs> Don't Jean can ever get at you. Uh, don't listen to him. Go to Leveva. <laughs> so glad I was able to be here at this moment. You know, I considered continuing to follow in Hori's footsteps, but I've realized it's time I found my own way in life. Otherwise, I'll never be half the man my brother is. First things first, I'm going to head to Gridania to visit the Conjurer's Guild and the Archer's Guild. I will do my very best to brush up on my skills before I see you again. Yeah, these two are brothers. Obviously. <laughs> We may have accomplished our goal and put it behind us, but my time with the Scions provided memories that will last me a lifetime. What bliss! To think I was blessed with the chance to experience such unbridled brotherly love. Ah, but now that Ogre has decided to set off without his dear brother, 
Without the two of them together, I fear I might suffer withdrawal. <laughs> okay. Get your Of course it's Matoya's music. I'm kind of sad we didn't get Matoya in the story. I need to go talk to her after and see what she says. Oh, are we saying our farewells too? I hadn't at present planned on a journey of any great length. Not that I am averse to a moment or two of quiet reminiscence. In fact, there was something I've been meaning to ask you, something that has been in my thoughts since the last flames of the final days subsided. Shoot! She does have post Endwalker dialogue. Good, I'll have to go talk to her after then. During our travels, we have witnessed more than a lifetime's worth of oddities and spectacles, more than can ease be easily recalled or remembered. And nestled amongst those memories are certain essential facts. The history of Aetherus and the Ancients, glimpses of the Aea, of their culture and philosophy. Rather than simply hoard such treasures in my mind, I wonder if I should not be disseminating them in formal records for wider consumption. When needed, I have penned reports and prepared briefings, but ever have I balked at the idea of binding the subject of my studies in a book or tablet. Truth is given shape and interpretation. When we seek to capture it with our words, it is invariably molded to fit a narrative, no matter how well-intentioned the rendering. An event is described as sad, a summation which fails to express the emotional complexity. Yet the word on the page is what endures, a pale shadow of reality. Throughout history, some have deliberately embellished the truth, but I believe many, if not most, deviations are the result of similar linguistic shortcomings, piling one upon the other until the end result is unrecognizable from its origin. Which is why I fear that writing an account of my own words would be akin to diluting fine wine with water. Yet, even with the potential for corrupted meaning, I do of course realize the importance of keeping written records. Without them, my search for wisdom would be a painful affair indeed. But what say you on this matter? Should I take up the quill, reflect upon those experiences only we have shared, and seek to preserve them for posterity? Well, I mean, someone should, and you're probably- it's either you or Urianger, and he's gonna have way more words than you. Someone needs to write this down. <laughs> Unless you're gonna talk about them, people, but meh. Aye, let them be read and remembered. Very well then, I shall endeavor to pen what I can of the Aea, and the Ancients, and of so many other wonders. But I am no scribe. It will be a less a polished work and more a reordering of scattered notes. That's fine, that's how I write stuff too most of the time. <laughs> In any case, I feel much better for having sought your opinion. Left to our own devices, we tend to overthink such things. I will otherwise return to following where my curiosity leads. After all, a safe method of travel to the first yet eludes me, and our venture into the great expanse has prompted an entirely new set of questions. Should you stumble into the unknown, or struggle with some impenetrable mystery, know that I am at your beck and call. It never hurts to see things from a different perspective, and mine is rather different than most. That is true! In a lot of ways. <laughs> Elise came to visit the other day. She peppered me with questions about the lasting repercussions of the final days. I took the opportunity to explain our plans to disband, and she understood our reasoning immediately. Once a scion, always a scion, it would seem. She was eager to relive old times and remember old friends. Bittersweet memories, mayhap, but from the look on her face, the joys outweighed the sorrows. Far too much blood has been spilt, and far too many lives lost. Still, I am glad I was able to do something to repay those who showed me a path to the future. Not that our job is over, of course. Far from it. There is much that remains to be done before true and lasting peace can be achieved. To that end, Hori and I mean to set off for Corvos. I want to go to Corvos now. <laughs> Honestly. Unrelated to these guys. <laughs> We expect that the tensions between the Garleans and Corvosi will only flare more with the Empire's fall. I still remember the day we sparred together as though it were yesterday. Think how far we have all come since then. 
Even now, I have not abandoned my dream of besting you in single combat. Oh god, not another one. Of a friendly nature, of course. Though I clearly do not hold a candle to the Warrior of Light at present, I shall continue to train diligently that one day you might consider me an equal. Raha Homeland. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he doesn't... It's where he was born, but not where he was raised, so... <laughs> eh. Oh, Carolyn, might you have a moment to talk? I certainly do. Oh, we're walking off to the side. Oh, okay. With the scions stepping away from the public eye, I've been left to consider what new endeavors I might pursue. Yeah, you kind of... no. Oh. After speaking with Kryle, I've decided. I will be assisting her in rebuilding the students of Baldessian. Not only am I indebted to Master Gala for giving me a new home, but had our order never existed, I would have never set foot within the Crystal Tower. How different my life might have been. I would never have met you, never become caretaker of the tower, never become a scion. You gave me the chance to do so much good, and I hope to continue to do so with students. For an added benefit, New mysteries often find their way to our doorsteps. Mysteries that could prove ideal for fulfilling our promise. To embark on a new adventure together, unlike anything we've experienced before. Fair enough. Whenever you have the time and inclination, my friend, I stand ready to accompany you into the unknown. Do you recall in the realm of the Omicrons, when I asked if you thought I may someday be mentioned in your epic? Well, it is true that to earn a place at your side would be the stuff of dreams. In the end, nothing would give me greater joy than to stand with you in the here and now. Aw, that's so cute. It needn't be some grand endeavor. There needn't be a promise. Whenever adventure calls, I won't hesitate to invite you, and I hope that you will do the same for me. Without, as long as you don't overexert yourself. No, I should have said that! Without a second thought! <laughs> no! I, I went on instinct before I read the second one! <laughs> oh well. Ha, I'll hold you to that. As much as we have already seen, there's still so much we haven't. Who knows, perhaps we will even encounter survivors of the Omicron somewhere out there. Don't threaten me with a good time! I know Omega's still in that little robot! Come on! Anyway... After all, given how they took to the stars, it isn't implausible that some found themselves far from home. Well, at least one did! And should we encounter a wayward traveler awaiting commands that will never come? I would bid them seek adventure with someone. And with that partner, find new purpose. A new dream. For if crystals can hold fast dreams, why not Omicrons? Yeah. Wherever your plans may lead, do not hesitate to send word. Should a commission of interest come my way, you will be the first to know. Now we talk to Tataru. Okay, I see. By the way, have you spoken with Feo Ul of late? Some days ago, they appeared to me in a dream. Of the sleeping persuasion, that is. All is well in the first, they bade me tell you. When I asked why not tell you themselves, they unleashed giant ravenous beavers upon me. Have you perchance done something to incur their ire? <laughs> hmm. Spoken your fill, have you? If so, I'm thinking to send everyone off. Wait, give me a second. I, there's probably nothing in here, but just in case. I don't know if I can come back here after. I probably can, but... It's the Warring Triad book, but still. We go. We 
don't care about the side room, it doesn't matter. Yes. With your permission, then. Your attention, please. At risk of spoiling the mood, the time of departure is upon us. In my capacity as your receptionist, I bid you all safe journeys. Till next we meet. Be well. What have I received? Doggo horn! Wind up. What is a heroist? Hero. Oh, heroist. I see. That's weird. Come on, you know who this hero is. I see. I see. It's Vina. Endwalker footfalls and flow. Nice! The quest is done! One more scene! One more scene! It's probably more than one. It's at least two. Everybody... Get out! Go on! Get! <laughs> Scatter! Oh god, right, I do have post-MSQ dungeons. You right? Still. I suppose we're off to Garlemald then. Though we ought to speak with Lord Emmerich first. If he's received word of any recent developments, we need to know. It would be prudent to purchase some warmer clothes at least. Mayhap we can pick up a few souvenirs for Ulysses and the others while we're at it. Oh, that's cute. Where will you all be heading next? Dravania, there is a book I have been meaning to borrow from the great Google Library. And I can think of at least one person who will be most displeased should I fail to visit before leaving. You think? <laughs> We've no particular destination in mind, but we do intend to stop in Charlian before we set off. We had thought to ask after the Loperids. I am curious as to how well those who chose to remain are adapting to their changed circumstances. Maintenance in an hour-ish. Okay. I probably- I might leave the, uh, dungeons for tomorrow, then. Might we accompany you, then? Raha and I were planning to return to the Baldessian Annex. Commissions have been piling up in our absence, and they must be dealt with ere we begin our work in earnest. Estinian, you will return to Rads at Harn, will you not? Aye, for Vritra's benefit, though I've yet to hear the details. I may not stay long. Why do I feel like you will be staying for uh, quite a while? I see. Then it is here the Scions at last part ways, each to some far flung corner of the realm. I mean, we're mostly staying together, actually. Like, in pairs. Perhaps. But I believe one of our number, a rather important one at that, has yet to divulge her plans. I'm gonna stand in the lavender beds outside my house and think real hard about my rotation. <laughs> Quite right. <laughs> Indeed. Fair point. Uh. So, what's next for our humble adventurer? More adventure? <laughs> Island Sanctuary! Island Sanctuary! Island Sanctuary! <laughs> oh! Was that Medion's burb? Oh! Island Sanctuary, cool. I didn't have a dialogue option, but it's Island Sanctuary! <laughs> Oh. He's still here. That's so cute. Bin. We done. It's done. We got an end card. Yet stand tall, my friend. Our journey will never end. Oh. And teaser, come on.
Oh, this is Elpis. Why an Elpis teaser? The constancy of this place never ceases to amaze me. Elidibus? An ocean of souls, shimmering and eternal. He did say that he saw us here. And yet, something stirs. Yes. Steeped in darkness, deep as starless night, the beast hungers. Well, that's ominous. Alas, I dare not investigate in earnest before the coming of my guiding star, as she foretold. We shall descend to the depths, you and I, to confront the dread beast, Pandemonium. Pandemonium is in the past? Huh? Well, okay. That changes all of my theories. Oh, the sights we shall see. The sights we shall see. Also, that's definitely a Lydibus, isn't it? Oh, frick. Huh. Well, damn it. Throw every theory I had about Pandemonium out the window. God damn it. Pandemonium can be literally anything now if it's in the past. Like, oh my god. Jeez. Yeah, that's definitely Elidibus, because he did say that he remembered seeing us in Elpis, but he was not in the Elpis section of the MSQ. So, that has to be him there, because otherwise how would he know that we were there at the time? But yeah, I didn't expect to go back in time anyway, but also, I wasn't expecting Pandemonium to be in the past. Well, uh, wow, okay. Anyway, you've completed the main scenario quest Endwalker. Quest to unlock new content have now become available in Old Charlian. Yeah, blah, 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 we don't. Rest well, champion of Aetherius, for many and more adventures await you. Yeah, we finally get the last freaking thing from the thing. And I just need to wait for this black screen to go away. Awkward silence. Yeah, there we go. I was gonna say, that's it, you're done. Black screen, you can't play your character anymore. What is this? Endwalker, of course, of course. Okay. So now I'm super duper 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 excited for Pandemonium, because it could be literally anything. And we definitely have, like, that's definitely an opportunity to work with the Convocation and everybody more. So, like, I'm super stoked for that. That's gonna be so good! No hints for the Alliance raids, that's fine. No hints for the continuing story or anything at that point, but that's fine, because this is a conclusion. And that is fine. It is normal for them to tease the raids at the end, so we're fine. Uh, apparently maintenance is in like an hour-ish, so I'm not gonna go ahead and touch anything with the, um, dungeon stuff. I will do that tomorrow sometime. Sometime, since I don't have, like, a marathon thing going on. It might be, like, later at night or something. Later in the afternoon. I don't know. I will say. When I do. Um, but for now, though, I... Release myself from stream stuff, and I'm gonna go screw around and do stuff on my alts and like unlock Reaper and Sage and crap. And I'm just gonna do stuff on my own since I need to process the story. But thank you for coming with me on this journey. Apparently, breaking it into five hour chunks was an excellent idea because we are once again reaching the five hour mark and everything is timed perfectly. I had a great time, the story was awesome, there was just 
I'm released back into society. I'm allowed to look in the spoiler channels again. <laughs> um, I had a great time. I've made a new playlist for Endwalker stuff. So the next time you're, you're going to see content in that playlist after this huge chunk of marathon stuff is going to be... Uh, Pandemonium, actually. Pandemonium Normal comes in in 6.05, I think, which is in January. So in like the second week of January, we're going to figure out about Pandemonium stuff. So we'll figure out what's going on there. I'm super excited now that I know that it's an Elvis. So yeah, I am turning off the stream for now. I will see you guys later. Bye!